Every cattle producer knows that pests are a challenge to our operations, but some are far more dangerous than others. Joining us now to tell us about a possible new threat is Dr. Kathy Simmons, Chief Veterinarian at NCBA. Dr. Simmons, what can you tell us about this new world screw worm? Well, Kevin, this is an old pest that is back to, to haunt us again, possibly. Mm -hmm. uh, we eradicated the New World screw worm in 1966 using sterile insect technique. Mm -hmm. uh, this pest uh, will um, is a fly, mm -hmm. and it lays 200 to 300 eggs at the uh, margins of wounds on animals, mm -hmm. uh, in body openings like ears, eyes, genitalia. Mm -hmm. It affects all mammals, including people, and some rare birds. Wow, dangerous stuff. And although we've not had any cases here in the United States, what should producers be on the lookout for? Well, the larvae that uh, emerge from the eggs that are laid by this fly uh, have hook-like mouth parts, and they will burrow into the flesh of the animal, mm. similar to a screw being driven into wood, hence the name mm. screw worm. Mm. So producers are going to need to look for any wounds on their animals, of course, evidence of eggs that have been laid by those wounds, which they may or may not see, but usually these wounds are discharging and there is a foul odor coming from them. So tell us, what is NCBA doing to not only protect producers, but the entire United States beef cattle industry from this deadly threat? Well, we're working on a number of fronts, Kevin. Uh, we're trying to get information out there because we haven't had this since 1966, and many of our producers are not familiar with this pest. So we have uh, information going out. We've created a web page on our website for New World Screw Worm. We're working closely with USDA APHIS, our partners who are trying to keep this out of the United States. Mm -hmm. And we are also making uh, awareness uh, out in the general public. Uh, we've, I've done some uh, work with the AVMA and their publications, the American Veterinary Medical Association, and we've also done podcasts. So it's basically communications and information and being prepared to recognize it early. So in the unlikely event that we do see something suspicious, what should we do? Well, New World Screw Worm is a foreign animal disease, and it's a reportable foreign animal disease, which means that producers need to alert their veterinarians mm -hmm. who are going to be required to report to the state animal health authorities and to USDA's Animal Plant Health Inspection Service. The United States then must report this disease to all of our trading partners, and because we are members of the World Organization for Animal Health, we must report within 24 hours of a conclusive diagnosis uh, that information to WOA. Very good. Thank you for this information and for all the surveillance you're doing uh, to avoid this, this problem. You can support NCBA's efforts to protect the cattle industry by becoming a member. It's easy to do. Just call 866-233-3872 or you can visit the website ncba.org. Use the promo code C2C when you sign up and you'll receive a special gift.